in literature, in the literature, there is vast number of names for this syndrome. You can see all that I found as I was searching through listed here. And the sort of ambiguity of these diverse, unagreed upon names is very representative of the vagueness that we know about this syndrome. I became interested in Takotsubo because I was having a very eventful day of 1311. I was interrupted doing all my ERCP pre-ops when the NICU called me, and they had a woman. She's a 69-year-old female with uh, septic shock. She had new acute renal failure. She had heart failure. And they wanted a pre-op to do a CT-guided vertebral bone biopsy. Like she had osteomyelitis and thought that maybe this was the source of her septic shock. She had past medical history of cervical cancer, rheumatoid arthritis, diabetes. Labs were fairly unremarkable. Her echo showed an EF of less than 20% with apical hypokinesis and trace MR. Because this was new onset heart failure, she had a coronary cath that showed completely clean coronaries. And at this point, she had been diagnosed with Takotsubo cardiomyopathy. And I had encountered this as a intern in the CCU, but didn't really know what the anesthetic implications for it were, so I wanted to know more about it. And what exactly is Takotsubo? It's, in short, it's essentially a non-ischemic cardiomyopathy that affects primarily the apex of the ventricle that becomes dyskinetic or hypokinetic. It is something that happens in the presence of completely clean coronary arteries. It also is a transient and recoverable hypokinesis. And interestingly, is oftentimes preceded by some type of stressor or trigger that then puts people into this state. You know, folklore has oftentimes talked about being scared to death or dying of a broken heart, which sometimes this is called broken heart syndrome. And not until 1990 did Japanese actually describe this and call it a medical entity, which is Takotsubo. And Takotsubo, what it is, is actually a pot, a ceramic pot that Japanese use to trap octopi when they're fishing. And when they had these patients and did ventriculograms, which is the uh, picture up here, they felt like with the apex 